Hopewell mom says a special procedure made all the difference in helping her get a proper diagnosis when she thought she had breast cancer. It's often referred to as a colonoscopy for the breast. A surgeon at Mercy Health of, in Kenwood is one of the few in the country now performing this procedure. Local 12's Liz Bonus shows us why it's next level medicine that is saving lives. Her life as a young mother was full of fun with her family until one day a short time ago, Kim Humphrey noticed something was terribly wrong. For me, it was just really scary. What was wrong was that blood was coming from one of the nipples on Kim's breast. A mammogram and an MRI showed nothing abnormal. So that's when they decided they need to do the follow-up procedure to try to figure out where, what was causing the blood. That follow-up procedure was performed by Dr. Hillary Shapiro-Wright. She's one of just a few breast surgeons in the country who perform what's called a ductoscopy. Ductoscopy is a telescope exam that allows me to look in the nipple ducts of a breast. It's a microendoscope. The scope is a fiber optic telescope that is less than a millimeter wide. Here's how it works. That scope is placed through the duct identified as causing the problem. So what am I seeing here? So that is a duct of a breast. Dr. Shapiro-Wright can then see what's wrong without damaging the nipple or the breast tissue and still take care of the problem underneath. I can actually visualize it on the TV screen and remove just that area that needs to be removed. Not only does that allow for a very precise outcome, but it makes a big difference in patient recovery times, reducing complications, and so much more. We can find cancer if it's there, sometimes even before a mammogram can see the cancer or a mass can be felt. In Kim Humphrey's case, it doesn't get much better than this. I came out um, and they didn't find any cancer. She now has follow-up appointments with this team every six months. Liz Bonus, Local 12 News. And Kim was offered the option of taking an anti-breast cancer medication given that she may be at increased risk. She declined and chose the careful follow-up instead.